welcome back to another video on my channel. So we are all back from our honeymoon. We're all nice and relaxed. We're all everything. I decided not to bring my life planner with me on um, our honeymoon. And you'll notice I also don't have my pointy nails anymore. Uh, whenever you take a lot of time off from like work in your daily lives, when you get, especially being self-employed, um, when you get back, it's just like insane. And so I just will not have time to do my nails in the near future here. So I just zip them off and put some, some gel polish on them, which will do me, do me well for a, a little bit here. But in all honesty, you guys are going to get random videos that are going to be uploaded here and there that I pre-filmed before our wedding and our honeymoon. So you're going to see random nails in different videos. But um, I decided not to take my life planner with me on my honeymoon. I just kind of wanted like the separation of like everything to do with like our normal daily lives back home. And so I left my life planner at home and I am going to go in and like update this. And I kept little notes on my uh, phone or whatever for everything that we did on all the different days. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to update this and decorate it and whatever. But in all honesty, a honeymoon is a pretty personal experience. And so I thought about filming it and putting it on camera, but I'm just, I'm not going to. I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to use this as a journal and I'm just going to like have it as a memory book for Steve and I. So I'm not going to show you guys that. I had intended to, but then I decided that, you know what, no, like that was just between Steve and I. So I'm going to update that myself and then I'll just keep this entire life planner as like a memory keeper of like up to our wedding and stuff. So, and if you guys want to see like kind of like a flip through of all the different pages and everything that I've done in this life planner, now that I'm switching to my new one, just comment below and let me know. I'd love to kind of show that to you guys. And I don't know, like my spreads when I first started were completely different than what I do now. So if you guys want to see that comment below and let me know. So I'm filming this on Saturday, October 10th. And you can see that I didn't go in and actually update uh, the rest of the week just because it was honestly, we, I was just too busy when I got back and it just was not a priority. But I have to tell you that I worked like yesterday and today and I missed my life planner so much. I had so many little sticky notes all over everything with me writing stuff down in sticky notes because I missed my life planner and I had stuff that I needed to keep track of. So with that being said, I am going to decorate uh, the next week's coming up here, but... I'm switching to uh, my new life planner, which I'm insanely excited about. So this one is going to be retired and it's just going to be like a little memory keeper and just a little thing to kind of look back on and like as a reference, I guess. So we're retiring this one. We're not using that one anymore. I am so excited to be using a whole new life planner, mainly because there's none of the dots on the sides. There's none of the morning, day and nights. There's none of like the little stuff on the bottom. It's just like a complete plain life planner for me to do what I want with. So I'm really excited about that. So we're decorating this week from uh, October 12th to the 18th. And in all honesty, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with this. I'm going to do Halloween spreads for the entire month. But I think I've decided to use this Freaky Fountain sticker book. I love the color tones on this, like the pastels and how they're incorporated with Halloween. I think it'll be like a really nice transition into like actual Halloween colors going forward. And there's a lot of like spider elements on here. So there's like the little spider, there's, lo there's lots of little like webs and stuff. And so I'm going to combine this with like spider web stuff. So this whole like set of uh, washi tape samples here I got from my planner buddy. Thanks Lisa. Uh, our Michaels where I live never got any of these uh, Halloween washi in. So she was kind enough to send me like some samples of them. So I'm going to use this spider washi tape here. And I just want to show you some other uh, washi tapes that I found at my local uh, Dollarama. Uh, these were the four that I was able to get my hands on here. So I really like the pumpkin one. I have a, a fun idea for using this one. And then the ghost one I will definitely be using. But I loved the candy corn and the candy one. And I love the cat one depending on if I do a, a witch week. I actually have so many different ideas that I might start like cutting the weeks in half and doing different themes like that because I, I there's so much that I want to use. But uh, for now, this is kind of the idea that I've, I've narrowed down here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my um, headers. And even though there's no morning, day and night labeled on the new Erin Condren's, I still want to use headers because I like how uniformed it looks. So I have some from Caress Press. And then I have some from... Um, let's plan it and then I have some old ones still from uh, Nikki Michelle designs that I'm going to try and use up here too. So I'm going to organize this just a little bit different than I have in pa in the past. Not not too different but I have so much YouTube stuff that I want to catch up on. It's going to have its own category this week. So I'm going to do personal to do and then YouTube is how I'm going to organize this this spread. 
and I'm going to focus on some pastels and stuff that complement the Freaky Fountain sticker book. So some purples and some blues and some pinks mostly here. Oh, and there's some like neutral tones too. So if I can find some good like beige neutrals, that's what I'll use as well here. Next I'm going to go in with my spider, spider web washi here. Okay, I'm just going to cover up that box in the corner there, that thankful thought thing. That's so funny. They've really taken out a lot of like the cutesy decorative elements in the new Erin Condren, but they left this thing and I'm like, mm, I'm going to cover it up. Okay, so I'm going to use the purple polka dot washi from Michaels because there are some polka dot elements in the sticker book as well. Okay, from Planner Chick Design, I'm going to take this pink kind of full box here. I'm just going to cover up the side, and this is going to be like my weekly to-do list right there. If there's anything that doesn't need to be done on a specific day. Alrighty, so I'm going to go in with my meal planning stickers on the bottom here. I'm going to use up some of the ones from Caress Press because she's got a lot of kind of pastel tones on here. And I'm... Actually, I don't work next weekend, which is really exciting, so I am going to separate my weekend here. I'm just going to use the purple small washi from Michaels to separate my weekend here. On my to-do list days, I'm going to go in and add a heart checklist. And again, I'm going to use up some of the Caress Press heart checklists that I have. This is definitely not looking super like Halloween-ish, but I like it. It's like Talia Halloween. <laughs> I'm just going to take a nail work category for the side here just in case there's anything that I need to order or anything that I need to do on the side. Yeah, so there's a few things on my wedding to-do list for this week, even though my wedding's over. I am like letting the fact go that my wedding's over, but I do have some stuff that, some like last minute things that I need to do. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do, so I'm going to find my hydrate bottles from Let's Plan It, and I'm going to put them in every single day this week. Yeah, and I have like hardly not even used any of her pastel ones. You guys all know how much I love the Let's Plan It hydrate bottles. I think they're so cute. And I would go in and fill in some of the stuff that I want to get done for YouTube, but I don't have specific days that I want to get them done. So I really need to kind of sit down and figure out when I want to get some YouTube stuff done and when I want videos to go up and um, when I'm going to do some filming and stuff and what I want to film. So... Um, I'm going to leave that all blank. So this is a pretty boring week so far. There's nothing really exciting that I need to fill in here, but I guess that's what happens after you get married and you have, like, nothing else to do. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to uh, decorate with some of the stickers here. these like float stickers from Twice as Nice Lettering. I think they were like a freebie one time when I ordered from them. So I'm going to incorporate them into this week as well. Okay, so as I'm seeing stickers here, I'm seeing things that I can use in this week. So on Wednesday, um, Survivor is on. So I'm going to use this little TV. And this little TV is from Planner Chick Designs. And the pen that I'm using is, again, my uh, Pilot G Tech C4 pen. It's a 0.4 writing. It's right super small. Very rarely that you guys will see me use anything else. Eddie is in doggy daycare on Wednesday as well. So I'm just going to go in and add a little thing for Eddie at doggy daycare. And again, I'm going to use a sticker from Planner Chick Designs. And I'm going to use this little, like, dog carrier. Okay, but I think I am all done for this week. This will be a really good week to like ease me into uh, Halloween spreads just because Halloween's not my favorite thing. I'm not a big fan of orange or black, so um, this will be a really good week to kind of ease me back here, ease me into Halloween. Uh, but like I said, some of the stickers that I, I have coming in from one seller that I'm very excited about, I really hope they're here for next week's plan with me. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys them. She is like, she's got some really unique stuff that I haven't seen um, done yet. So um, I cannot wait to show you guys that. Um, I should say that this is actually on the 12th here is uh, Thanksgiving here in Canada. So these little house stickers are from the Emerald Bluebird and I am going to use one this week 
for Thanksgiving. And I'm just gonna lift up a little hydrate bottle here. I didn't even look at getting like cute Thanksgiving stickers just because I knew that I would be working um, being like just back from my vacation and stuff or from my wedding and honeymoon. Uh, so I didn't even bother getting cute Thanksgiving stickers, but um, it is Thanksgiving on the 12th here. And then that leaves me plenty of room if I need to bring anything or if I need to do anything before. So, um, but I am working, so I am going to put this hydration bottle back. Actually, I'm not. So for Monday, I'm going to use a different hydrate one. I'm going to use a hydrate sticker from Caress Press instead. Okay, so that is my completed week. I think I'm done adding stuff to it and like confusing you guys and everything. So I'm going to call it quits here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I'm really excited. I have some really fun planner videos that should be going up soon, including like a wedding planning video. Um, I have a, a haul from a, like, it's honestly like a few, a few weeks old now. Well, just about a month old now, but you'll see videos going up in kind of like a random order. And again, like I said, you're going to see different nails in them that I, I'd worn previously. And obviously they're all filmed before my wedding and honeymoon. So I don't have my wedding band on and stuff. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit confusing, but I'll add like little disclaimers and stuff. So hopefully... Hopefully it's okay. I want to get those videos up for you guys because they are requested, but they are like very pre-filmed. So um, yeah, comment below. Let me know what theme you guys did this week. Uh, let me know if I missed anything in like the planning world while I was gone. Like that was a, a long three weeks without me posting a video and I, I, I'm sorry about that. I hope to never take a hiatus like that again. I hope to have more regular videos for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're following me on my planner Instagram. Um, do you guys use Facebook a lot for like following your planner people like I thought about creating like a Facebook page so those of you who use Facebook versus Instagram I would post like my planner stuff on there but if you guys don't use Facebook I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother setting one up but if you do use Facebook more than Instagram comment below and let me know I personally use Facebook a lot more than I use Instagram so um yeah if that's something that I get like a lot of comments about I'll definitely consider making a Facebook page for my planning posts and stuff like that but anyway I will see you guys in the next video bye